To help you feel more balanced when going to the net, it's critical that you split step properly. Let me show you what it should look like. Now, this video is courtesy of Let's Play Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I put their link in the description below. Now, this is Casper Rudd. This is Cameron Norrie. So, Rudd serves, pulls Cameron off the court, and now Casper starts coming to the net. You know, one of the most important techniques you can use when you are the player coming to the net is you must split step with proper timing, and I'm going to show you what that proper timing is, on the way coming to the net. Think of it as the volley is a brick and the approach shot is the brick. Well, what's the space in between the bricks when you build a brick house? It's the mortar, right? If you forget the mortar, don't even think about building a brick house. It's the same thing. If you aren't going to split step, don't even go to the net because it's going to be so tough to change direction and handle the volley appropriately. So check this out. After Rudd hits his approach shot, he takes one, two, three, then four steps because Nori has not hit the ball yet. And then watch Rudd split step right there. Now, what's the timing of a split step? You want to land the split step after your opponent strikes the ball. Yes, after they hit, not as they hit. So the landing of the split step is happening right there. He is landing in the split step, and it happens after the ball is hit. That's because you want to synchronize your brain and your reaction time with when your feet hit the ground. That way you can explode in the direction you need to in order to volley. And you're supposed to split step on every shot your opponent hits. So right there, he's airborne again as Nori hits the ball, and then he reacts in case that ball comes over the net again. Most recreational players, when they run forward, they just keep running. And because of that, they can't react to a down-the-line uh, passing shot, cross-court passing shot. If it's a lob that goes over the head, you want to become stationary basically just slightly stationary basically as your opponent hits the ball and actually just after they hit the ball and then that's going to allow you to react so much better to the volley now before i draw this up on the big board if you love single strategy as much as i do then get yourself a copy of the singles playbook by fuzzy yellow balls over 50 pages of strategy after strategy to help you beat your toughest opponents each strategy comes with a QR code. Just hold your phone or tablet up over the code and up pops a five minute video of Will Hamilton from Fuzzy Yellow Balls showing you exactly how to use that strategy. You can get a copy of this book using my link. It's in the description. I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you wanna find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Going to the net can give you a huge advantage in your matches. So finding yourself up here, chances are you're gonna win more points than, you just, than just hanging behind the baseline the whole match. But that's only true if when your opponent hits short and you decide to attack, if as you're going up and as they strike that ball, if you are split stepping, if you're just running forward and they pass, it's so difficult to change direction and to be able to get to that ball. By split stepping around the time they hit the ball and specifically being in the air as they hit and you're landing just after, that synchronizes your brain and your reaction time with when your feet hit the ground, you'll actually move faster and quicker and change direction better. You will get to so many more balls, especially if they lob. See, if you're just running forward as the lob is going over your head, you're just doing what Vic Braden called rushing the net to lose at a faster rate. Make sure you film yourself playing matches and practicing and check that you are split stepping when you are going forward. If you're not adding a split step, there is no doubt you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from twominutetennis.net. You got this.